So in order to do that, all you got to do is come over and connect out your uh, your blue square here to the blue triangle. The background blur, does it look like a lens blur? I mean, at this point, no, it doesn't look like the 2470 from Canon. It's, it's definitely not. Now I'm going to create my new node. We'll connect the blue to the blue. And then all I'm going to do for this one, down here in this blur area here, we've got the radius. I'm just going to drag this right up and you can see it's starting to blur our background. No. That isn't how you do that. I'm going to show you how you do it. All right, so first off, you know, we're starting with the wrong way. I'm going to go ahead and look here. Depth map. Okay, we got that. Slam it on in there. Adjust map levels. I want this, this woman to be completely in focus. Then what he did, go ahead and turn off the preview. What he did is he connected the alpha here. And you see in here, yeah, that's correct. But... What happens when we increase the blur? That doesn't quite look right. There's still some fine details in there. And that's because you aren't telling it to blur different amounts. You're, you're blurring it and then laying that over top at different opacity. What you're doing is creating like a mist filter. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean in Fusion. Okay, so we got our media in, we got our media out. So let's say you got a lens blur here, just want it to be accurate so we'll go ahead and do that and merge that on over top so what you're doing is you're taking this blur laying it over top and then changing the opacity see how that you still got those fine details in there those should be gone so how do you do this properly well if i go ahead and delete those go on over to the color page turn on depth map preview then I can export this. Do, 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 desktop, save, and the render queue, bammy wham. So now that we have our depth map here, we plonk it into the depth blur over here. What we can do is we can set the blur channel to luminance and crank that on up. So now you can see if we look closely at these bushes again, there aren't any, you know, like fine details in there because it's actually being blurred on a gradient so over there it's more blurry than up here which makes sense given this there is another way to do this that will get you an even better looking effect we go ahead and delete that depth blur there we find a vera blur plug our map into the green input set the channel to luminance set it to defocus preview that and if i change the blur size hey look Yet again, there's no fine details in there. It's actually being blurred according to this map. It's changing the amount of blur rather than the opacity of the blur. So that's why it looks so bad in these examples. Mr. Alex Tanky, you really should know better. HMH my head. Uh, but yeah, if you spent some time cleaning up this depth map here, like we go in here, go ahead and turn on post-processing. We can see you can get some of that hair detail back. Expand to contract. But yeah, you, you can really fiddle around with this and see what works best for your situation. But this, whoa. <laughs> I've got an MX Master I keep accidentally overshooting with the smooth scrolling. But yeah, you can see it's still not perfect, but it is still a much more representative example of what you can get done using the depth map feature. It kind of sucks that it has to be such a runaround way to do it, but unfortunately there are neural engine features in the color page and there are better blurring features in Fusion. You kind of just got to toss it between them until it works. Anyway, that's it. Goodbye.